Hello there. Are you a teacher or a student of AP Calculus, SAT, PSAT, IB, IGCS or any of the advanced mathematics course and you want to use a graphing calculator emulator? You are at right place. In this playlist, I am going to talk about how to install the graphing calculator emulator and how do we use it to score maximum marks in these entrance examination. So this is the first video and I am going to explain how we can install it. So we can go to the Casio international website called edu.casio.com and there you have an option here software app. I'll click there. After clicking you can select your OS. I have Windows so I'll go ahead with Windows. And then from here you have various emulator. I personally like Casio CG50 because that is the latest uh, calculator from uh, Casio and it is approved in IBDP along with APSAT etc. So I'll click download. It will ask for a small form that you can fill in. So I'm a teacher and I'm a government teacher. I'll select my country from there. I'll accept their terms and conditions and I'll say download. It's a small software. It will download just in a few seconds. So you can go to your download folder and then you can run the software. So I'll double click on the software file. I'll accept the Windows uh, warning. I'll continue to press OK or Next in order to install the software. Yes, and your software installation is done. Just by pressing and accepting to this wizard. Voila, it is done. Let's go to the desktop and you can see the CG50 icon is there. Let us double click on it to open it. If you have a license, you can buy it from Casio. Then you can activate your license or if you don't have, you can try with a file version as well. So I'll say no, I want to continue with my version and then you, this emulator comes with three options. CG50, CG50 Australia and Graph90. I'm happy with CG50 so I'll say OK. And this will open us Casio CG50 for us. You can see you have the exact Casio CG50 graphing calculator and you can do what you could do easily on your graphing calculator. So let's say you would like to plot a trimetric graph sine of x and push f6 and voila. So it is ready for you. Hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel so that whenever I post a new video, you get notification. Thank you very much. Have a good day ahead.